Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mid-Century Modernism with Monique. I am Monique Anton, your host, and today I have my friend Matt Bliss on the show today. Thanks so much for being here, Matt. I'm excited to be here. Uh, thanks for having me on. <laughs> of course. We've done this before. We've done Zooms before. We've talked about this amazing tradition that Matt has kept alive. Matt um, started this company, Modern Christmas Trees, based off the design that his grandfather had for this modern style Christmas tree that started in 1966. And mm -hmm. Matt, do you want to share with us a little bit about your grandfather and his passion for this? Absolutely. Um, he was definitely an interesting guy. He was uh, uh, an engineer and uh, he had a brain like an engineer. Um, he did projects for NASA. He worked on the liquid nitrogen tanks for the Mercury uh, mm -hmm. missions. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, so he kind of has that uh, aerospace engineering background and uh, he quit all that um, and decided to build A-frame cabins throughout the Rocky Mountains. So he oh, nice. started a, a company called Delta Vacation Homes, um, which I think was a super bold move on his end because he had five children to feed. Oh my gosh. Um, so it was- uh, It's a lot. It's a lot. So yeah, yeah, no, he was just like my favorite person uh, growing up and he only made a couple trees throughout his lifetime. But um, when I started this back in 2012-ish, it was, uh, he was struggling with Alzheimer's, which was tough for me. And so I thought, what a cool tribute to him uh, to kind of update his tree and then again, show his contribution to design with the world. Absolutely. And you and what a beautiful thing that you've done for so many people, me included. So uh, you started, um, you had your first tree display at Denver Modernism Week. And uh -huh. you mentioned before you had two trees and you started that way and you started with passion and with that spirit. And it just sort of, you know, went through the modernist community that way. Um, you have been on shows and I've seen you on different television programs. You were on Shark Tank, which was <laughs> very I cool. Was. And yeah. a lot of people said that was the first place that they saw you. What was that experience like for you? Um, I thought it was a great experience. You know, I, I did a, a helped with an article in Forbes magazine about all the Shark Tank uh, contestants and their experience. And um, apparently th their experience hasn't been as good as mine for some of them. Um, so yeah, I got, I got to deal with Barbara Corcoran and, um, she's great. She's kind of a silent partner, which I prefer. Um, yeah. it's, it's a kind of a quirky product at some level. And so we're not trying to get into target or, you know, we're, we're trying to sell direct to, to, to the consumer so that we can right. control the narrative and, you know, have the relationship with the customer. So, uh, but it's been, it was a great experience. I was on stage for over an hour and they kind of chopped that up into 12 minutes. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it was a great experience. Uh, Barbara's awesome. I loved it. And you were so great and so confident. I think to be an entrepreneur and to self-fund your company, I understand that very well being that I'm doing the same thing. If your passion is there and your spirit is there, that will translate and you mentioned not only modernists like this tree. A lot mm -hmm. of people have said, you know, it's not my style, but I have loved this design and it's become a tradition within the family. Mm -hmm. You have so many different trees that have come out. I have the tallest one and I have the basic um, white, light and silver uh -huh. color. But uh -huh. you came out with the rainbow tree in 2018 you mm -hmm. got the patent in 2012, and you're also now doing outdoor trees. Is this right? I haven't heard about this. Yeah, yet. so it, it's kind of an outdoor slash indoor tree, um, and the the rings are made of aluminum. So it's a kind of a little bit of a nod to the aluminum trees back in the the 60s. And yeah, um, yeah people have been asking for an outdoor tree, and um, it gives it a little more of a, an industrial look, but I, I still think it totally works. I, I was very oh, pleased yeah. to see how it turned out. Oh my God. And can we see that on the website yet? Or has that been? Not out? yet. Uh, cause okay. we're working on a photo shoot. Okay. Um, and so probably next month we'll be able to release that. And I only have about 50 of them to sell. So okay. we'll see. We have to hurry up and, and get one. Right? Then. I know. I love it. 
So no. speaking of photo shoots, you have done shoots in the most iconic mid-century modern homes. You've been in the Farnsworth house. Mm -hmm. You've been in the stall house, mm -hmm. which I'm really jealous about. And I wanted to ask you what that experience has been like um, for you. Just if you can share with the listeners what it was like being in these homes. And if yeah, I mean, it, it's certainly been a... Um a big highlight for this whole venture is, you know, one of my, my best friends is my photographer, JC Buck, and he is like super talented. And when I quit my job to do this full time, he quit his job to become a, a photographer, um, yeah. which is, you know, crazy. And so our, <laughs> our paths have been kind of paralleled. Um, so yeah, the, the advice that I got early on in this process is get amazing photos. Uh, um, and what I wanted to do is to couple the tree with these iconic spaces so that uh, to, to see, you know, if they could hold their own. And I, I there's no doubt and that they, they do. definitely do. <laughs> they yeah, really no, do. It's been really, it's been really cool. And um, yeah, we've done uh, the, the Stahl house, the Farnsworth house, the Sheets Goldstein house. Yes. Um, the, the one that is in Denver that people aren't aware of is called the, the sculptured house. Um, okay. And they renamed that the sleeper house because it was the, uh, the house that was used in the Woody Allen movie sleeper. So wow, yeah, wow. to check that out. It, it's a yeah. horrible movie, but, but it's pretty <laughs> funny. There's a, uh, a, a scene where there's an orgasmatron. Okay. Oh, <laughs> wow. It's set in the future. Oh, wow. So yeah. So uh, that, that's a, <laughs> an architect that um, is a little less, well known, you know, when we talk about Lautner and and um mm. Mies van der Rohe, obviously, but uh Charles Deaton was his name. Okay, and I need to look that us, up. Yeah, Charles Deaton. Um D I E D E A T O N. Okay. All right. And uh so there was a spaceship looking house um on the mountain. And you know, every time we'd go skiing, we'd be, you know, all of us would look for the spaceship house and um so to be able to our first photo shoot was to film in that house and it was kind of wow. crazy because i googled who owns this house because it's so important for us uh yeah. mid-century modern folk in in colorado and mm -hmm. uh found out who the lady was we had a mutual friend on facebook and mm -hmm. um she i i sent her a friend request and within like four seconds she responded and i <laughs> sent her a, a note saying i want to film my grandfather's tree in your amazing home and five seconds later, she said, great. When would you like to do it? Oh, my gosh. Then, oh, no, it's so crazy. So and then when great. I saw her, yeah, when I met her, she's like, well, I'll have you know that I turned down personal tours of my home with uh, Prince and James Taylor. But you wow. can use my home for your your photo wow. shoot. Wow. But that was really cool. Yeah. No, I know. There's, I, I, I had to do with her, I think, you know, knowing the backstory. Um about my grandpa and um thankfully all of these amazing um homes and the people who represent those homes have been really supportive yeah which I think it's is so great it's the respect that everybody has for what you've done and what you're doing I love that and I think modernists really appreciate those who love the architecture as well and those who are working towards you know, making this community thrive. That's really, really amazing. And I'm so glad that you have access to these. There is a list that you have of homes that you are going to go to. By the way, if you're listening and you have an iconic <laughs> mid-century modern home, right. please reach out to Matt um, so he can go and shoot there. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And I think those have circulated. Oh, I mean, they've been shared you know, hundreds of thousands of times. And um, I think what it's done for some of these houses is kind of breathe a, a little bit new light into them. Um, certainly, you know, those photos of the Stahl house and the Farnsworth house got circulated, you know, over and over and over again. And so I think it brings some attention to those homes. Yes. Um, I, I, and I, I know us mid-century modern folks already are aware of these homes, but for the casual design fan um you know they may have not been exposed to those houses and right. you know it, it's been it, that part has That's, been so so much fun it's amazing well your marketing is really special i also love when you order a tree 
Um, we had a giveaway a couple years ago. And for those of those of you getting a new tree, when you buy one, Matt and his team put in these amazing cards, Christmas cards. So your Christmas cards are kind of already done for you. Right. You have a beautiful design. You have that house with the tree in it. And that also, it helps us and it helps you, which is really, really brilliant. Thank so you. you have a, so here we are in July and you have a promo going on right now, Christmas in July that I wanted to bring up. And yeah, um, so we don't do, we, we quit doing sales on the trees a few years ago, um, yeah. just because the whole idea of people paying different prices and ordering on the right day just kind of felt gross to us. Like everyone's going to get the same price and either you see the value and what it brings to your holidays or you don't right and so there's no negotiations um but we do um in uh july here we've got a promo going where if you buy one of the eight or ten foot trees we give you a tabletop jubilee tree for free which is like a 347 mm dollar -hmm. value so yeah. um so far it's been really good real successful i love that and they can go to modernchristmastrees.com and find that out or yep. if they, yeah, when they order. Mm -hmm. One of the things I love about the larger trees is we have a house that's all glass in the back. And if you live in a mid-century modern house, we live on top of this hill. So everyone in the neighborhood <laughs> mentions, oh, are you the house with the tree that's shining over the uh, whole neighborhood? I love that. It's really, it's really beautiful that um, these trees bring so much life to the space. Um, yeah, it's kind of, um, it was Mies van der Rohe that coined the term less is more. Yes. And so, you know, the idea, the materials associated with the tree, they're, you know, they're high end in quality, but the, the you know, it's, it's made out of a, a, a sheet of acrylic and then it's laser cut. So you know, in terms of the amount of material used relative to like a traditional artificial Christmas tree is um, so much less carbon footprint. And um, I just love that term, you know, less is more. Like how do we, you know, let's strip it down to its basic form and get rid of things that are not critical to, to the design. And that's kind of the difference between, I think, my version of the tree and my grandfather's version, you know, with pine cones and <laughs> all sorts of Lots crazy, of things, yeah. oh, very, very, very busy. <laughs> I think that was kind of a, a function of maybe the time, you know. Right. So. They wanted more is more and yeah, color more is, and more is texture. Better. Yeah. yeah. I think what you've done is bring a lot of people together. And I wanted to talk with you a little bit about your love of mid-century modernism. Um, Absolutely. This has fueled everything you've done and it's been so inspiring to all of us. Can you share about what this community means to you? I know you've had a lot of, you know, great relationships come from this work. Totally. Yeah, no, I have uh, been a, a fan of design, you know, since I was a little kid. I, I, I think I, I won first place in this Castlewood Fire Department, no smoking campaign poster. Oh, nice. um so it was a mr t with a, a word bubble that said i i pity the fool who smokes <laughs> mr t I, I think i was like six or seven or something yeah um but yeah no i've, I've always been to, into art and design and um about 15 years ago i was um in the market to buy a new home and we stumbled onto this area in colorado called arapaho acres and people okay. will want to check that out. It's, uh, the architect was um, Edward Hawkins. Okay. And it's this quirky little community of mid-century modern homes. And um, but I didn't know it 15 years ago as mid-century modern. It was called California Contemporary. That's so right. I'm not sure if you've heard, heard that That's term. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't uh, like the word contemporary, but it's always. No, yeah, contemporary, <laughs> the word contemporary is gross. Yeah, it um, is. So, yeah, no, I. We stumbled onto this uh, mid-century modern development, and the problem is they don't go on. There's only like 300 of them, so they don't go on sale very often. Um, and my realtor said, "Hey, you know, if you, you know, delivered a, a letter to each of the homeowners, you know, maybe somebody might be willing to sell it to you." So at the time, I had a broken leg, and so I crutched myself from house to house oh, delivering these. No. Uh, yeah, and somebody, somebody. Uh, that'll you know, do it. That'll, that'll <laughs> do it. Yeah. 
You'll get so, the sympathy there, the sympathy so, card. Totally. And then, you know, so from there, I fell in love with mid-century modern uh, design and, um, you know, George Nelson and, you know, Eames and all of those amazing designers from back in the day. And um, yeah, it, 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 it tickles me that, you know, my tree kind of holds its own next to like an Eames chair. We get, we get dozens yeah. and dozens of photos from customers and um, just mm -hmm. super cool that it's resonating with people. I, I think my it. grandfather would be, he, there's no way he would believe it. Yeah. He, would you know, be he, very, he, only, very... he only made a couple. So it's like the idea that this became a, a business, um, you know, and his signature is engraved on every tree that I make. So it's, it's been That's a right. cool, cool journey for That's sure. Beautiful. That's beautiful. For those of you watching too, we're on Zoom on YouTube. We have this tree that is behind you. Is that the tree that you are giving away one. in this? That's the Jubilee? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So you have and to go it's... to our YouTube, YouTube under Monique Anton. You'll see this tree that is so cute. Yeah. And, and so it comes perfect. with a little remote. And so you can kind of select the color of your tree and um, yeah, Aww. no, it's, it's People dig it. I mean, it's a little baby tree. I love a little baby it. tree. And <laughs> so I, what we found with our audience is that the people who typically buy the tree are people who've never displayed a tree, and so um, you know, it's a way for them to, you know, enjoy the holidays without having to have this big artificial oh, yeah. Christmas tree or this tree oh, with yeah. pine needles. And we uh, used to have all that mess. And it was such a nightmare getting yeah. all of the string and, and lights together. I love your product because I have everything in a box. And for right. all of us modernist, meticulous, clean freak people, right. we have everything stored in the closet and everything's put away in nice little compartments. Exactly. So yep. thank you for um, making it easy for us to get in the Christmas spirit so much. Well, I mean, that's the thing about, um, you know, the idea of minimalism, right? Which is yes. part of mid-century modern design. It's, um, yeah, how do you make things as, you know, yeah. user-friendly and as easy as humanly possible? And so we spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to, how to achieve all that. Yeah. And so. you um, experienced a lot. I, I respect you a lot because of what you've done in this community and having, um, uh, one month of sales, you know, you plan for this all year, you prep everything, your team is amazing. I don't know how you guys deal with the rush of what happens with your orders, but I I want to compliment your team as well. For Yeah, thank you for saying that. Uh, Marina's overhearing this. She's downstairs. Uh, we work out of our home. Yeah. So uh, that, that's kind of the cool thing about, well, an yeah. advantage about having a seasonal business is you don't need a formal office. Um, we did do a pop-up store last year in uh, Cherry Creek, which was a lot of fun. Um, this year, I think we're just going to, you know, run it out of our house. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. I know that during the pandemic, we still had our office going and it was no one wants to go to an office right, right. now. So I understand that. Well, I want to thank you so much. And I wanted to ask you about your list of homes that you have coming up. Are there things that we're going to be excited to see? Um, yeah, I mean, part of it is, you know, I want to create new things, right? Um, and so if we compare those new things with the right home, you know, you mentioned before we started, you know, the L Rod house. Yes. Um, the, you know, there's there's a handful left that I think would be, you know, the uh, Philip Johnson glass house. Um, there's a handful mm -hmm. of ones. That, there's the uh, TWA hotel has one of my trees, but I'd yes, like to that's... see, I'd like to see 10 and I'd like yeah. to do a big photo shoot there. So oh, that'd be great. I don't and know. you we'll you mentioned that you've been doing some custom trees. I don't know if mm -hmm. I'm letting the cat out of the bag here, but you've no, done some totally custom fine. trees for the hotel. Um, what other projects have you done? These are people that specifically request those. Yeah, no, we, we I do a, a bunch of um, custom trees. We did like I think 15 for the Disneyland Hotel in Anaheim. And uh, okay. that turned out really cool. They're they're upside down, 
Um, oh, and what they did is they put the, the spotlight pointing down at it. So, you know, inverted the, the spotlight points up, but when it's upside down, they installed these LED lights, but then it was so overwhelming the, the shadows that they create um, is that there were accidents in the parking lot. Oh no. And because it was because like, the lights, it's like, what's, it's, yeah, like what's going on here? So yeah, for yeah. liability reasons, they removed the lights. Um, but they, they, I've never seen it. Um, but I, I guess, you know, kids <laughs> hang out underneath them. And um, it's kind of this, I don't know. Yeah, they love it. Yeah, I don't know. It's but, kind of a, yeah, it's that um, we always see that on our ceiling when we light it from, it just lights up the whole room. And it's really a beautiful experience to see that, so. Yeah, I know the, the cool thing too about our new, um, LED light. It's called the Modus, and that is Latin yeah. for mood. And um, you can select any color of the rainbow spectrum. It has a, a phone app and a remote. Okay. Wow. And um, so you can set the mood of your tree, and as your mood changes, you can change the tree. That's awesome. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> I yeah. love that. I love the creativity and the difference. Yeah. And you're, like, you're how shaking do we... it up. No, we got to continue to evolve and um, Absolutely. you know, I, I look at the trees that I made, you know, 10 years ago and, you know, they're amazing and great, I thought, but, you know, <laughs> you see what we're offering now, it's like, you know, leveraging technology and LED lighting, it's, um, the timing is really great for it, I think. Yeah, you've evolved and we're all totally. evolving with you. I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you. I respect you so much. It's so good to talk to you again. And Ditto. For those of you listening, uh, check out modernchristmastrees.com. We'll see you again at the next episode. Thank Thanks you so, so much, much for having me. It's been fun. Thanks so much, Matt. We'll see you. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays to you. Bye.